because I have a lot of assignments coming up, we just switch to completely online school okay. for the next two weeks. So it's a lot of changes. So I guess just um, preparing myself for um, working hard, but also giving myself time to relax. Okay. Okay. Actually, that's a good topic because the topic for today we're going to focus in is on balance. So hopefully that will help you get that right. Okay. <laughs> that's good. That's tomorrow. So I'll check in with you in a couple of minutes just to make sure uh, you're getting what you need from this. And just to let you know, we, we are recording this session. Uh, so some people have said they can't make our, our check-ins, but they re request that we record them uh, and that we share them with people who, who uh, will be listening to back to them later on. If that's okay with you. Yes. Thanks, Tamara. Okay, so just to help us prepare for our session, um, I want to make, invite you to make sure you feel comfortable and relaxed, and we'll do our usual arrival exercise that Kendra has done on our, on our webinar, the weekly webinars. So, and if you'd like, if you want to turn your, your microphone off, that would be fantastic. Just mute yourself. Thank you. Okay, breathe. Breathe again. Smile, relax, arrive where you are, be natural and open to effortlessness, to being rather than doing, drop everything let go and arrive. I invite you to just think about if there's any of those words that particularly resonated with you that you are needing today. And you mentioned trying to get that sense of balance right. You know, we often show up as human doings. You mentioned a transition to online that brings its own pressures. So I invite you to think about how can you make sure that you get that sense of balance right? And if there's anything else that you're needing from the session, do invite you to share in a couple of moments. So we'll just give you a couple of seconds of quiet contemplation. And let's check in. So I encourage you, if you can, just reach for your app, cred app, and check in. Firstly, noticing your energy levels. So are you green, amber, or red at this point of your day? We're using this as information, as data, to help us respond and take a step back from how we're feeling and how our energy levels are so we can choose how we respond as opposed to reacting or being almost on an automatic pilot. Take a moment to notice what, what combination of words describe how you feel at this point of your day. And then in the app, just notice any thoughts that are top of mind for you. What's present? Don't judge. Just take a moment to note down what are some of the thoughts that are just bubbling away. So the more we do this, the more you'll build the muscle. Our brain is like any muscle. The more we use it, the stronger it gets. And the more we become aware of these energy levels and what we're feeling and what we're thinking, we can increase that threshold and the response time between how we choose to respond and if we're often taken over by how we react. I mentioned a moment ago that we want to have a bit of a focus on getting the balance right. So 
at Cred, we asked the question, you know, what if you could do one thing for yourself? So to focus on learning. And in this 30 day challenge, we are encouraging you to learn, learn how to manage and navigate your emotions, learn how to deal with strong emotions, learn how to recognize them. That's the learning is doing something for you. And the move is something in the middle to get the balance right. And the connect is doing in service of others. So like anything, balance is really important. Too much one way and we're out of balance. So if we do too much of everything for ourselves and don't do enough for others, we quickly become out of balance. If we do too much for others and don't look after ourselves or put on our own oxygen mask, we, life becomes out of balance. So what we're trying to say is how do we just make sure that we're doing enough of both? And you mentioned transitioning back to online and with new pressures and a lot of uncertainty. You don't know what lies ahead. So we encourage you to I want to support you to just be kind to yourself, first of all, to notice that it might take some getting used to as you navigate this time, as you navigate the many unknowns that lie ahead this week. And how do you support yourself to just manage realistic expectations? You mentioned lots of assignments due. And we talked on the webinar today about some of the things that can support us and hinder us. And one of the things is we talked about saying yes to something is saying no to other things. So we just want to make sure that you perhaps support your boundaries today and this week. And before you commit to anything, just take a step back and to say, is this going to help me with that sense of balance and managing my workload? And also I want to make sure that I stay socially connected or you look after yourself. So maybe we need to just politely decline some social engagements. Or if we're asked, can we do something for somebody else in an assignment, maybe just take a step back before you commit. So I just want to invite you to think about how can you be very intentional about this week and how you go about this week. Let's just go and do a scan of our intention for today. So what do you choose for your focus to be on today? We often talk about there's lots of things that we can't control or we can't choose. We, we don't know when things are going to change in terms of online, to back to face to face or what's happening with the, the pandemic or a myriad of other things that are happening around us. But what is it that you can control today? My question to you tomorrow is, if there's one thing that you could just apply really good focus to today in terms of a, a university or school assignment, what is that? What would that one thing be today? And be very specific about what you want to have achieved at the end of today. And you mentioned a number of competing priorities. So just think, is there anything that you may be thinking you need to get done today? Perhaps you could move to tomorrow or later in the week. Should I, can I answer? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, I think I have a, a big exam coming up for my science course this semester. So I think my priority would be to um, finish up my study guide and um, finish watching all the material in order to be prepared for that test. Right. And then things like my essay or um, my chemistry work is not due till later. So I can push that until another day if need be. Cool. And is it realistic to watch all your your watch all those things today? Is that is that realistic for you to do today? 
I think, well, there's one video that I need to watch, but I think that I could probably get some of them done of the other ones that are due Friday. I could probably get them done also. Okay, cool. Okay. And, and how do you feel when you think about that? Does that take a little bit of the, the anxiety or the pressure off or the stress off, Tamira? Yes, it does, because okay. I feel like I want to do everything today, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's not yeah. realistic. Well, so, you know, one of the things we talk about in, in a cred community is the limitations of our brain and our, our brain, the prefrontal cortex part of our brain can at most hold three to four things in working memory. So we like to apply the rule of three yeah, in cred. So that's why you three, see three points or on, every, on every slide. So just try and think about, you know, prioritizing, managing expectations, like laser-like focus to one thing at a time. You know, we can't multitask. Um, and if you do have, you know, one, two or three priorities you want to get done today and, and do really well. And fantastic. That's great. You can see that you can already talk about things. You can, you can move out a little bit later that are due a bit later. And to get the balance right, we want to encourage you to make sure that you're physically active for at least 30 minutes today. So just think about your day ahead and think about when can you make some time or maybe you've done so already. And Tamira, if you want to come off mute and share, or if you're not, no worries at all, but think about what can you do today to move and when you're going to be able to make the time. You don't, you don't have to share if you want to. So we invite you to just think about it's one of the things we often give up when we become stressed or overwhelmed or anxious, uh, the self-care or, or physical exercise, but it's really good for our brain health. So we encourage you to do it and maybe even break it up into a couple of different segments today. And finally, connect. We want to get the balance right and, and do in the service of others and do for others and support the mental health and well-being of others. I invite you to think about who can you just give a quick call to today just to check in with them to see if they're okay and let them know that you're thinking of them. And mindful that you are really busy, you've got a lot of things on. So you could even start it with saying, hey, I've just got five minutes. I'm just thinking of you. Just want to make sure you're doing okay. I'm here to support you if you need me. So just before we complete, I invite you to just think about when you can do that and who you connect is going to be today. And we encourage you to reflect later on today. So when you get some time, you set up your reminder and just to reflect and notice how you went. Just notice how you went with your focus because we're, we want to see, did we do it and how well did we do it? But what did we learn? This, this 30 day journey is just as much about noticing how we learn and how we navigate this time as it is about achieving everything. And notice your movement. Notice you know, when is a good time for you to move? When do you see some patterns? And just reflect on the quality of your connections. Tamara, thanks for making the time. Um, I know you've got a lot of uh, work on today and it's a busy week. And we really hope that we've helped you start your day with a sense of focus and, and structure and you have some energy uh, to support you during the day as well. Thank you. Thanks. Tamira, um, before we complete, we just, we'll, stop, um, we'll stop broadcasting live now. What's one thing we could do to make your experience